Okay guys, I'm gonna install the new fuel pump. Uh, I bought a new pickup tube and a new oil pump. I have a volume oil pump, guys. I'm gonna change that out. And since I got the engine block off, this oil pump only has 50,000 miles on it, but this engine is 40 some years old. So although the pump is good, might as well just put a new one in it. So we're gonna change that. And we're gonna change, put the gasket on in the oil pan. Show you guys. Got the, I bought some screws. I have them in the description box. The best guys can make us for this job is the oil resistant um, gasket maker. Um, the Felpro gasket is one of the best that I've used. And they go to fuel pump. So, and we're going to need a torque wrench. And here go. for the oil pump the oil pump itself we're doing this first and the pickup tube so uh, bigger the filter looks bigger than the one that's on here it is significantly larger but uh, it's just the same It's larger than the one that's on here. That shouldn't have an effect on anything because we're using a high volume oil pump. I'm assuming this has the larger diameter for that purpose. So let's get this taken off, guys, and I'll show you guys everything. So we're pretty much prepped for the gasket. So I'll show you guys where we're gonna put the gasket maker at before we put the gasket on. The bolts that hold the pump in place are 916. I'm removing the old gasket here and prepping the surface for the installation of the new pump. Okay guys, everything looking good. With these parts, I have all of these parts in the description box. Checking the pickup tube side, they pretty much level off as far as the height. Okay, I got the new surface prepped up really good guys. And it's time for me to prime the pump and then we're gonna install it. I'll show you guys all of that now. Okay guys, I'm, I use a little bit of this gasket maker to hold the gasket in place for me. So it won't keep falling off. And I go up. Guys, I found a small little container, a bowl, that I was able to pour some fresh oil in so I can prime the pump up outside of the engine. And this was a quick method. I've done this quite a few times. But it's a quick way to prime the pump up um, before you install it. If you're putting the pump in vertically, as I'm doing with the engine facing in its proper position, opposed to me spinning it, the engine around upside down on the stand, I wasn't doing that with this three-legged stand. Just rather do it like this. So just priming, putting some a little bit of oil in the outlet side, and I'm gonna prime it. Make sure you turn um, the drill that you're gonna use or whatever you're using in reverse or counterclockwise to prime that pump up, and you'll see that in a second. I used the shaft off the old pump to prime the pump in my coilless drill, and it worked fine. You can use it in the new shaft, but just make sure you don't damage it. I want to note, guys, um, the distributor. See that the shaft sits through that hole. I don't know if you guys can see down in there. That's the shaft, guys. You want it to come up through that hole because the distributor. Let me show you guys. Actually, seats into that shaft, 
and here's the shaft. So it goes like this, guys. It seats in there like so. But I want to note that this lock washer, guys, it's called an internal lock washer. This is an external lock washer. I'm not sure the size of it, guys, but this is very important. I'll tell you guys a quick story. When I was a kid, I was watching my big brother do an injury job. He removed the distributor and um, it didn't have one of these washers on it. So it, the distributor actually lifted this shaft up out of the oil pump and it fell down to the oil pan. And um, um, he had to remove the oil pump. He had to actually lift the engine up out of the car, remove the oil pump. And he was just, I just, I seen the anguish on his face. He was so upset and I felt bad for him. But yeah, that lock washer is important, guys. Make sure that lock washer is in the exact same place as the other one. Otherwise, your possibility, if you ever remove that distributor, lifting up on it, can pull that shaft up out of that oil pump and you're in trouble. Okay, guys, time to torque it up. Now, the torque specs are between 23 and 28 foot pounds. We're gonna go 25 foot pound torque for the pump itself and for the pickup to 20 foot pound. Time for the oil pan. So we're gonna put a bead of gasket maker at this cap, front cap, here in the corner, this maiden section from the timing chain cover to the engine block. Here, here, and at the rear cap, guys. In this corner, in that corner. So let's get the gasket, guys, and in place you want to use these snap-ups where the larger diameter bolts go they screw in the four corners of where the larger bolts go so make sure you note that before I install the front snap-ups I put some gasket maker in, in position first so it wouldn't be in the way so kind of note that too Okay, guys. We got four started. Okay, guys, I'm getting the washers ready. The larger bolts are for where those end caps are at. Let me get them installed. 
Okay, we're looking for torque specs. 302, 351, 5, 16 inch bolts to 9 to 11 foot pound. Okay, guys, I'm about to do some torquing. Starting here, first bolt on my torque. Second, and work my way all the way around until I get back here. Then I'll check them again. Okay, guys, I'm done. Tomorrow, fuel pump and valve covers. I'll be dropping the engine in soon. Then water pump. So fuel pump, water, fuel pump. I do the fuel pump, water pump, and then um, I'll do the valve covers. And then we're ready to drop this boy back in. So if you found this video helpful, guys, subscribe to the channel. A whole lot of more videos coming. And if you want to see this Mustang Cobra project from beginning to the end, go back and watch the earlier videos and, and catch up and see how it turns out so uh hope you found the video helpful most importantly tearing some out